Hi, I'm Wes Leonardo. I'm a senior Flex developer here at Ribbit. And in this series, we're going to cover how to code a phone using the Ribbit technology and Flex. So quickly, let's demo the phone fully done, and then we'll go back and actually look at the code and build it from scratch. So here we actually have a finished phone with a skin and sounds, a fold number t a keypad, and a text area that will display the number that we're either going to call or is calling us. So here, let's make a quick call outbound and show how this actually works through your computer. So what we're gonna do is actually call our movie phone in our local area and see what's actually playing. So all we do is make a connection. Hello and welcome to movie phone. As you can hear, we're actually connected to the movie phone. So let's dive into the code and see how this is actually done. In this series, we're going to have four different chapters. In the first chapter, we're going to get the Flex project started. Second, we're going to design the phone in Flex Builder. Third, we're going to wire the phone to the Ribbit platform. And fourth, we're gonna add a skin and add some sounds to the application. Once you've downloaded Flex Builder and have the SWIC from our developer community, what you wanna do is start a new project in Flex Builder. You'll do this under File, New, Flex Project. We'll give it a project name, and we're gonna call this Code of Phone. Over here, we want to set this as a web application. The other thing you can do down the road is to create this as an Adobe Air project, and you would do that here. But for now, we're gonna keep this as a web application, and we keep that radio button highlighted. Go ahead and click, click the next button. We need to click the next button again. And here in our library path is where we actually add our Ribbit SWIC. So what you'll do is you'll add your SWIC, click browse, and find out where it's actually located on your computer. Once you've found it, you can select it and click OK. And now you've actually incorporated that into your project. And there we go. We have our first project with our application tags. Once we have our Codaphone project going, first thing we want to add to our application tag is a new namespace. This namespace will be towards the Ribbit API, and we're gonna go ahead and call it Ribbit. So here we type in XML and S and give it a name of Ribbit, and go ahead and call com.ribbit.api.star. What this will do is incorporate the full Ribbit API into our application right now. So next what we wanna do is go ahead and create a Ribbit request object. And we could do that by Ribbit and then Ribbit request. And we're gonna go ahead and give it an ID of request. Later you'll see how this gets incorporated in our code. Well, now that we have our project set up, uh, we're gonna move on to chapter two, and we're gonna actually design the phone now. We're gonna add a couple panels and text boxes to display different numbers. We're gonna import the keypad component, and then last, we're gonna hook up the keypad component with some text boxes. And we can do this through the design mode in Flex Builder. So the first thing we wanna go ahead and add is a panel and we can drag and drop that up to the top of the screen here. Let's go ahead and resize this. And let's go ahead and add a title called Code of Phone. The next element we want to add is a text area, actually a text input box. This will actually display either the phone number we want to dial or the phone number that's coming into our application that we might want to go ahead and answer. And let's go ahead and give that an ID of phone number. Now the next element that we're actually going to include is a keypad element. Now through the developer.ribbit.com we have 20 code solutions, and inside those code solutions, we actually have a keypad component. 
that it's under com ribbit dot components. So if we actually just copy and paste the com folder itself, we can go ahead and put this into our our current project, Codophone project here. So we've already added it. The next thing that we actually need to do is in our source, we need to add a namespace for this keypad component. So we go ahead and call it namespace keypad and we give it the path of com.ribbit.components.star. So now once we've done that, we can go back into design mode and actually see that it's actually become part of our component browser. So now all we need to do is actually just drag and drop this keypad component onto the screen. And once we've actually added it, you can visually see that it's actually there. Once we have our elements on the screen, we want to hook up the keypad with the text area. So when we click a number, it will actually display in the text area up above. This will be done by using ActionScript code. In order to incorporate ActionScript code into a Flex application, you'll need to use the MXScript tag. Now down below on our keypad component, we have an event that will dispatch when a number is actually clicked. And this is done by the keypad click event. We will actually be listening for that event by calling the handle keypad function. And we're going to go ahead and send it a key, which is going to be the number key that's going to be pressed. Now up above, you can see that we've actually incorporated the function handle keypad and key we're passing in as a string. Now, later on, once we actually get some more functions going on, we'll actually be listening for the call function and an end function. But for right now, we just want to display the numbers in the text area. So if it's not call and it's not end, we're actually going to go ahead and call another, another function called dial number and pass that key in there. Here, if you remember when we actually laid out the text input box, we gave it an ID of phone number. So once a key has actually been pressed and the dial number function is called, we're going to take that phone number and go ahead and append the key to that. So let's go ahead and build our application real quick so we can see how this works. So here, really quickly, we actually have a full keypad and a text area. And when we click the numbers, we can go ahead and start to build our phone. Thanks for joining us here in this series, Coding a Phone. You can download the code and get started right away building your application. We look forward to you sharing your applications. And if you have any questions, I can answer them in the forums.